Stay tuned for Who Done It tribute video number two. Hey guys, it's Sasha. Thank you so much for all of the likes, for checking it out, for sharing it with your friends, and most importantly, for sending me questions on social media. I would definitely say Dante's death creeped me out the most, probably because it was the first one that we actually witnessed. Harry, we just came downstairs and she was already dead, but with Dante, we actually watched running on fire. That definitely creeped me out. And it was only the second day, so you really didn't know what to expect. The Wipeout 2001 on YouTube asks, what's your favorite death based on creativity? My favorite death based on creativity would actually be the death that sent me home, be the death that killed me. It was Ulysses. Because that's super creative to take nails, put them on a board, dip the nails in poison. Derwin on Instagram, who's also my friend on Snapchat and Facebook and Twitter, get like Derwin. We did not take acting lessons, however, as you know, some members of the cast are actors, so they probably didn't have any problem with it. I did some acting in theater in high school, but outside of that, I'm not an actor, so we were lucky enough to have the team from CSI there to help us film our deaths, so they coached us right on through it. A lot of fun, and Dana actually does that for a living now. You can catch her in a lot of different episodes doing crime scene reenactments. I'll put the link below. Next question is from Grand Reality on Instagram. Your first thoughts when you walked into Rue Manor. I was amazed. It was beautiful. And personally, I've never lived in a $40 million mansion before, so I was just taking in all of the sights. I kind of got swept into the architecture and the decorations and just the, how massive of a place it was. Next question is from Caitlin on Instagram. Occasionally, more so when I lived in DC. That I'm in LA, I mean, there's real celebrities here like Tom Cruise and all of those people. But the last time I was recognized, it was me and Melina. Someone walked up to us and said, Hey, you guys did a good job on Undone It. So that was really cool. So if you ever see me, please say hi. Epicenter on Twitter asks, What's my dog's name? Her name is Roxy. She's four years old. She's a Jack Russell Beagle mix. Ryan Downey emailed me and asks, when you were killed, did you have to leave the mansion and go home, or did you get to stay? Do you know when everyone who was eliminated prior to him had to go home? Ronnie got to stay because everyone else was being flown back to tape the final episode when we all reappeared as zombies. Ryan also asks, was it difficult not to laugh in the morgue? Yes and no. It was extremely difficult when people were touching you, but thankfully there are enough cameras that they were able to do cutaways. So maybe if there was a part when I smiled or blinked, they moved to a different shot so you wouldn't necessarily see that. So thankfully, very good editing. But yeah, it was pretty hard to stay still when you are basically in underwear and there are people who didn't really seem to like you poking around and touching you. Angel on YouTube asks, who did you trust the most besides Dana? I would say Don. Agreement, we had an understanding, so I absolutely trusted Don. I was really sad when he got eliminated. Neon Production on YouTube asks, what are the jobs of all of the castmates? I actually ran out of time with this video, so I don't have time to answer all of that, but I will devote the next video to recapping where are they now? Where are all of my fellow Houdanic castmates? So check back next week, next Saturday, for that video.